Uh, to edit your measure codes groups, you can tap the edit button and this takes you to the edit measure codes form. Here we can tap and hold in, a, in, an, empty but, in an empty tile to add a new, add a new code. Uh, there are a whole lot of different layouts we can use. The standard layout is 3x3, three three, but we can go anything up to 5x5. Five five. If you want to create a new group, sometimes when I survey, I create a new group for that, to that day's survey, and I fill it with things that I can see. So here I might call this Luke's Topo. And in this group, I might fill it with things I can see today. For example, top of curb. Uh, there's a lot of road center lines. I can see a fire hydrant. And so on. And that allows me to have all the codes that I know I'm going to be using today at my fingertips. When you're in measure codes, there's also a few keypad shortcuts you can use. The code buttons have numbers on them, and they map to the number keys on your controller. For example here, I can press the number key 7 to automatically measure and store a fire hydrant point. I can also use the numeric keypad to jump between different groups in my measure code. So if I press A, it will jump to the first group in my FXL, in my feature code library. If I press B, it will jump to the second, C, it will jump to the third, and so on. 